Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's me, Crendor. And we're back with Warhammer painting. It's been a while. Um, but I have actually been painting stuff, so <laughs> I just haven't been filming it. Um, so today, I thought I'd work on some more Skaven, which is what I've, you know, kind of been doing overall. I have done some Nurgle. Um, I've also done some Sylvana. So it's mainly just been rats, demons, and... Uh, trees. <laughs> when you break it all down. Um, these plague monks, I hit with a coat of Gut Rip of Flesh, the new contrast paint, and I love it a lot. Like you can see, I think it's like a perfect plague monk color. It looks like their robes, like it just, it fits their robes, you know what I mean? So I did that for all my plague monks over here, and very happy with that, with uh, how they turned out. And then I still got to do the swords and weapons and their skin. But I've just been contrast painting with a lot of new contrast paints, and they're actually really good. I love a lot of these new contrast paints, and uh, I've used some of the shades as well. I've seen mixed things on the shades, but I've enjoyed using the shades. They've been they've been good to me, so <laughs> I don't know. It just it probably just depends what you're looking for. But um, I also uh, was gonna start painting up this guy a bit, the bombardier. Kind of sucks that he can't be an engineer anymore, but. He's still pretty good. He can like buff up storm fiends, which is cool. And then I also have this custom piece I built. And if you can see here, there's a little wheelchair rat and he is controlling this contraption, which is a warp grinder, a rattling gun and a warp fire thrower. And then we got some other rats underneath. And so this model, this little rat with the wheelchair uh, for legs, <laughs> back legs, uh, he came in the it was either the Thankful kit or the Hell Pit of Bomb. No, it was Thankful. It came in the Thankful kit, I remember now. And I was going to just glue him onto Thankful's base, and I was like, this guy's too good. He's too good to just be, you know, just a, another rat in the Thankful mob. So I made him into a plastic uh, kind of weapon teams guy. And it's nice because I can use this and be like, oh... Like, if I'm playing against somebody, I'll be like, oh, this thing today is a rattling gun, or this thing's a warp fire thrower, or it's a warp grinder, right? You just tell them, and most people are like, cool, whatever. Uh, and then they're like, wait, what? And then they see the little rat, and they're like, oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, this is probably my, my work of art right here. So I'm gonna start painting him up a bit. I think he deserves it. So that's what we're gonna be working on today, uh, primarily. I also have this rat ogre, because I built a, um, what's it called? Plague furnace. And since I don't need the rat ogre for the plague furnace, I'm just going to glue him onto a base and have another rat ogre that doesn't look like the normal rat ogres because they look terrible. So, <laughs> where is... Let's see, what am I going to start with? I'm going to start with just Basilicanum Gray, which is just my color I use for rocks or like stones. And I'm just going to paint this big rock thing that... I could also paint it like a bluish color or like a brownish color. Uh, but I feel like a lot of the rats are already going to be brown, so I don't really want it to like blend in with them. I think this will be fine. And if it doesn't look good, then I'll just change it down the line, whatever. So I'll shake it up. I use my handy Games Workshop paint holder, which I'm going to tell you right now, this is probably the best investment I've made. This, however much this thing was, not being able to, I've done that like this so many times and I would have knocked paint over. So it's fantastic. Hold on, I gotta take it out. Okay, there we go. Luckily this one makes it difficult to get paint out of because it doesn't stay open. So that's good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's use this shade brush. Add some water in. Good. Okay. So, get some paint. And, let's see, is this enough? Might not be enough. Make sure it gets in all the cracks. Now I'm gonna need more. I'm just gonna get a, I'm going into the pot. Uh oh, hit the mic. Good. Alright, here we go. Start from the top. And go down. There we go, that's better. 
That's better. Okay, a little bit under there. Then the side. And a little up top. Yeah. Uh, I just want to cover this side primarily. Uh, can I get in? There we go. Yeah, that's the stuff. Okay, perfect. Uh, there's a little one before it starts like getting all smeary. I'm gonna have to move some of this paint around. Uh oh. Uh oh, it's already getting smeary. I goofed it. Hold on, run it back. Alright, you know what? It's good. There we go. Uh, just let it dry. That's a, that's a pretty decent coat. Go to the other side. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you gotta just let it happen. You start trying to go back and fix stuff. And you're like, nope, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Um, I'm actually trying to do battle reports again. I bought a table from, I don't remember the website, but it's like an actual gaming size table for standard board sizes, just because it'll make it easier for me to film and stuff on. That table's heavy though, man. I thought it was going to be like <laughs> a standard table, but it is, it's a little heavier. That's fine. Even as someone who goes to the gym every day, I'm like, dude, how much does this table weigh? Uh, Alright. There we go. Let's get back here. Uh, oh god. I'm shaking. Okay. It's coming together nicely. Let's get under here. Oh god. Uh. Uh. There we are. Uh, oh wait, little well in here. Alright. Neat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been fun. I've really enjoyed painting Skaven and building Skaven. It's just been a great, it's been a great hot rat summer, man. I said in my videos it was going to be a hot rat summer, and boy howdy, it sure has been. I've won some good games. Um, in fact, uh, oh yeah, I was mentioning battle reports. I think I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing more non-content battle reports like I've done in the past, but now, um, I have a much better understanding of like the game <laughs> than I did when I did them previously like I I knew the game I knew how to play I knew like Seraphon and like a couple other armies but like I'm on a whole nother level now also that's not part of the rock that's a rat okay 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 get it off get it off <laughs> gotta, gotta go fast Okay, we're good. Good enough. <laughs> Woo! Um, but yeah, now I'm that person where I'm just like... You start playing armies enough and playing against armies enough to where you start knowing things about everybody. It's like in MOBAs or something where then you start knowing all the champions, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that with Warhammer. Where you're just like, oh, okay, they're gonna play... Uh, not just Seraphon, but like, okay, they're gonna play Nurgle, right? They're slow, but they're gonna probably run flies, they're gonna try to disease you. Uh, they're gonna be tanky and just be annoying, and then you play against, like, Stormcast, you're like, oh, they're just gonna be really good at everything and annoying. <laughs> uh, orcs are just gonna try to bash you in. Um, you know, it's just, you play against enough armies, and then you start learning how they work, and then you play your armies, and you kind of learn how to work with them, right? Like, rats, at first, I was terrible. I was like, dude, what am I doing? And then you start being like, oh, okay, I have to, like, screen with my clan rats and not just charge them in, like an idiot. <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, so, you know, you, you live and you learn. Actually, I don't even think I need 
a lot more here. Hold on here. I don't know if the camera's getting this bit, but it's fine. This is one of the annoying parts. Uh, uh, okay. Alright. Uh, a little bit down here. I got some more in the rat, but it's in a part where it doesn't really matter. Um, so, you know, it's like anything. You get better as you play more and practice and all that. And I have a gaming group where I play like once a week. So usually I'll play like... I usually play two games a week, and usually one of them's a 2v2 and one of them's a 1v1. And that's usually, you know... Every week for the most part, but some weeks I don't. Either way, uh, I've gotten vastly better at the game. <laughs> Uh, Alright, perfect. Oh! I love when I dry the brush off and everything and then I see a part that I missed. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna have to go back in this way. Whoop. We also got the new Total War coming out soon. That's gonna be fun. The Immortal Empires. Pump for that. Very excited. Uh, that's good enough. All right. I mean, I'm going to end up dry brushing this rock, so that's fine. <laughs> okay. Next up, I think I'm going to paint the warp stone grinder thing here with a Carandrus green. Because this one worked really well for a lot of warp stone stuff I did, including the actual warp grinder. <laughs> In fact, let me show you my warp grinder. Hold on. Here he is. He's made of metal, so he weighs like four pounds, but he also had part of the uh, paint chip off of the metal. Man, I love metal models. They're fun. That way it looks better, but this is all contrast paint too. Pretty much there's so much shit to paint and scathe in that I'm just straight up contrasting. But the Karendross green looks really good. Uh... <laughs> I love metal. Imagine having an updated range of models with your new book. That'd be cool. Uh, all right. <laughs> Here we go. See how this works. There's like a weird thing in there. Uh, hold on. Shift these around. Okay. Either way, I'm having a good time. <laughs> Hot rat summer, like I said. Uh, let's do this. Oh yeah, I love this green. This is such a good green. Uh, underneath. There we go. That's probably all the paint you need. Should dry pretty well. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Cool. In fact, do I have any warp stone on this guy? Does he not have any warp stone? I guess this could be like green warp stone fuel coming out. I just don't want, I got paint on my brush. I don't want to waste it. You know what? I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's just paint this green. Might as well. And if it isn't, it looks cool. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love contrast paint. <laughs> uh, a little bit on the other side. And there we go. 
up a little bit in here. Uh, eh, a little bit missed down here. Hold on. There it is. All right, this is better. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now he'll at least stand out a little bit, even if I don't paint the rest. <laughs> All right. Um. So I've really enjoyed rattling grime to the point where I'm probably going to paint a lot of this rattling grime. <laughs> Just because I love the way it looks. Uh, hold on here. Doo -doo -doo. Here it is. But yeah, you know, it's crazy because like I started the hobby a little over three years ago now. And it's just, it's crazy to look back on it and be like, man, I have, you know, I got into it as like a little nostalgia thing and now I'm like full blown <laughs> as far gone as you can be essentially. All right. <laughs> Let's, uh, oh god, dude, this brush, that's one of the brushes I, like, haven't taken care of well, and now it's just, it's good for, like, shading big stuff. Once you get to the finer details, it just, it's garbage. Um, I'm gonna use a good brush for this. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Let's see. Where do I want to do this? I'll just do it on the warp fire thrower first. Any more than that. See how it looks. Let's keep it moving around. That's the secret, you don't let it dry. Because once it dries, you're donezo. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. It's already getting to that point. Oh! This is pretty good. Probably take some off the top here. Uh oh. There you go. Oh, wait. A little bit here. Yeah. It's not bad. It'll dry and look less wet, but I just love the way it looks. It's just that old kind of steampunk metal look, which I think looks fantastic. Um, let's see. So I kind of want to put it for a lot of the stuff, but, uh, okay, I'm going to put it for, like, back here. I think it'll be good. Uh, uh oh. Uh-oh. All right. Alright, that's get underneath a bit. There we go. Might as well paint the back of the gun this while I'm under here. So why not? In fact, I'm gonna get a little more. Cool. And then I might as well paint this plate. The rattling grime as well. Because it's kind of going with the theme of what I'm doing. All right. Around this way. Very nice. And... 
paint this thing at two? Whatever, sure. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, it kind of looks similar. All right. Okay. Oh, and a little back here. There we are. Uh, I gotta get a little bit in here too. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Hey, you know what? I also gotta do a little bit around the gun. The more I look, the more I find. Alright. I don't know if I want the actual guns to be the rattling color. I think I might just paint them actual metal. So it pops a little more so the entire thing isn't just, you know, rattling grime. <laughs> uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go underneath. All right. Hey, look at that. Not too bad. And for a contrast paint, what I love most about it is like, this is one of the most non-metallic metal contrast paints you're gonna get. Like it just, it looks metal. It's just, I love it. Um. Okay, so here's the thing. I would like to paint his little wheelchair side things this. But not the actual wheels. I'm just gonna do that carefully. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. Maybe I'll even paint this bit. The grime. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure, this is good enough for now. <laughs> Looks good enough for now. Alright, great. Cool, okay. Um, what color? Eh, probably like lead belcher. Be good. Let's just do that. Where's my lead belching? There it is. Use this brush. All right. Some of this, put it on the old wet palette. Okay. Tiny bit of water, don't need a lot. It's already pretty thin. Okay. Come on. There you go. And then. Oh god. Dude, why am I so shaky? Start painting this up. Like so. Alrighty. That's looking good. And I can even, I mean, I'm going to shade it with something. I don't know which shade I'll use. Probably null oil, but we'll see. Oh boy. There you go. There it is. Yeah. 
Do a little more. Need a little more water in here. Not as thin as I thought. Okay. We'll do the front of the guns. Very nice. Perfect. Uh, actually. Some tiny little bits I missed. Yeah, that's pretty good. There we go. Nice. Uh, I'll probably have to do one more coat. Uh, if I only do one coat, it'll kind of make it look a little rusted, which is kind of what I'm going for, so I might just do that. I'll see how it looks when it's done. Okay, then... I'm going to paint the rats, and what do I want to use for the rats? Probably, I like gullum and flesh, there's also dark oath flesh, let's see, I can just use both for different rats, super shake them. There we go. Put these in. Do this one first, which is the Gulliman flesh. And let's hit the rat under here with that. Very nice. A little more. That looks like a squirrel. Which would make sense because squirrels are rodents. <laughs> and... They really need to add squirrels to the Skaven army, you know? <laughs> Listen, I'd buy some. Uh, whoop. A tiny, tiny bit underneath for the shadows. Shadows. There we are. Um, let's do this back rat. This big chonker. The same color. Alrighty. The tail. You just gotta love how his body just melds with the uh, scenery. It's just, just really adds flavor. Um, okay. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna paint the wheelchair rat this color as well. So, just go ahead. Throw some pain in him. Uh, 
Perfect. Perfect. Wait. Not too much. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right, then. Tip the other rats up. With the Dark Oath Flesh. See how this looks. First we'll do this one. I imagine it's gonna look pretty similar. And it definitely does. <laughs> Uh, we'll see how it looks on this bigger rat over here. Let's see. Okay. Looking good. Paint his tail. And... Hit the camera with my head. Good. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you tell the difference? It's like slight, it's not as red. I think he's a little darker, which fits because he's like underneath the thing. But then the other rat he's near is like, eh, you know what? It's it's just enough variety that it's like, whatever. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of this, get a little crazy. I'm gonna hit wheelchair rat with this tiny bit. So he's got a bit of a different color than the others. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. I mean, coming together. Woo. All right. Um. Now, I think I'm gonna use my good brush. Go back to some of this lead belcher over some of the spots. I also accidentally painted up there, it's fine. There we go. I'll be good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. All right, I need too much. Okay. Now I'd like to get a tiny brush here. This one's probably gonna work. And get some wild wood or let's use one of the new ones. Let's use Gargax sewer. Especially because I'm not going to be able to dry brush inside that tiny little wheel. And... I get a tiny bit of paint. We're going to go inside. This wheel. That went better than I expected it to. <laughs> actually better than I expected to. Look at that. You can see inside the little wheel. Well, it's actually hard to see on camera, but yeah, you can see a little bit there. Compared to the other side where you can't, there's no color there. Whoop. Yeah, that was a good look. Okay, boom. Ooh, dude, that looked, that turned out great. Nice. Now don't mess up this side, me. Good. Good.
good. Wow. Hold on. It's harder to see on this side because it's a... Uh, it's a little darker, but you can still pretty much see it. Mamma mia, that turned out great. Awesome. <laughs> Woo. Good job, Gargax Sewer. Uh, and now, for the actual outside wheel, I might just use, um, I might just use a bronze. In fact, let's use like a, a screaming bell. So his wheel kind of pops a bit. So I don't want I don't want to use the uh, rattling grime and have it just blend in. You know what I mean? So we're gonna take a little bit of this, the old wet palette. Okay, that should be enough. And perfect. Let's. Oh yeah, that's gonna pop. Although, <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to like pinpoint Uh, all right, I got a tiny bit of paint on the wheel. Good. <laughs> Good. Woo-wee. I need to get a little bit. Uh, it's good enough. <laughs> now this side. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need a little more here. Sometimes when you try to overcorrect, you just end up making it worse. Okay, that side went well. A little more. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's like the tiniest little thing I need to get. It's bothering me. Oh boy, here we go. Tiniest, tiny little bit. <laughs> okay, here we go, we're going in. Okay, that's good enough. We're good. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me show you. Alright. You can see now. I think it turned out pretty well. Look at that. Nice little screaming bell wheel. And it pops, so you can see it from here. And you're like, oh, what's that little bronze thing that's popping out here and you know then you know it's the wheel it's wheelchair rat <laughs> um uh let's see it's been 40 minutes though so i'm probably gonna have to stop here i have to go take my antibiotic so i'm trying to get rid of a tooth infection i gotta go to the dentist i love health problems Woo! um <laughs> so yeah i gotta go take that but hopefully you enjoyed uh, watching me paint little rat in wheelchair, shooting, grinding, and
firing. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I think I'll do a part two and we can finish them up do some dry brushing do some more painting up there Do whatever. It'll be a good time. So thanks for watching like comment subscribe all that good stuff and uh, Yeah, I need to do more of these because I haven't done an actual Warhammer painting video for the channel in a while So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time Okay Okay See you I go over here to turn it off. Ooh.